I can smell you. Mm. What is going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. And today, we're going to be looking at a bit of a weird one, uh, because this is the wonderful Center Mod. Now, the, the kind of, the main thing about this mod is effectively what it allows you to do is it allows you to smell ores. Mm-hmm, yes, you heard me correctly. You can smell ores. Now, the benefit of this is effectively you can now trace down ores much easier. So in the case of things like coal and iron and redstone, they're not too hard to find. However, where this mod really comes into its own are for things like diamonds and emeralds. Those things are a little bit more tricky to find in your world. Well, now you can smell them out and it means you can get a lot more beacons up and you can do a lot more villager trading and all that jazz. So. How this mod works is really, really simple, and it effectively only uses like a couple of hotkeys in order to use this effect. Now, this mod works for all of these ores here. It works for the redstone, the iron, the coal, the lapis. It also works for nether, qu uh, nether quartz. Yes, and this is netherrack. Uh, emeralds, diamonds, and it also works for glowstone, which is pretty cool. Now, what I thought best thing to do is literally just do this in the real world. I didn't want to set up anything too fancy. I just kind of thought it's best shown as it would be used in vanilla Minecraft. However, I do have myself a nice super shovel here and uh, a super pick so we can get to them a little bit quicker. Now, what you do is I'm actually going to get rid of these um, because they will uh, kind of... Oh, my God. 21 lapis. Fortune 5 for the win. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of these because they will start to affect our... Uh, smelling, smell of vision. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, anyway, okay, so what you actually do is when you want to try and locate an ore, you click on the O button. Now, if you click on O, what it does is it will cycle through the ores that are available in the game and it will give you an estimate, I think it's actually pretty accurate, as to how many blocks you are away from that particular ore. So, for example, here we are 42 blocks away from redstone, we are about 9 blocks, 10 blocks away from coal, we're about 9 blocks away from iron, etc. So let's go and try and find something easy to start off with. Let's go and find some coal. Right, so once we're here, what we do is we, we just literally click the ground and then this little sort of smell a vision type thing will actually give us an indication as to whereabouts the coal is hidden. So if we keep clicking here, we don't have to have a piece of coal or anything. Let me just get rid of this stuff because it is distracting. There we go, happy days. So if we actually just click the ground, you can see that we're going to be digging somewhere roughly around here. So let's grab ourselves a shovel. And let's follow the smell. Dun, 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 dun. So now you can see it's about six blocks away. Let's keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And boom, there we go. So as you can see, we have found ourselves the coal. So whenever you're kind of using a hotkey with this, and you can disable this, by the way, by clicking uh, the letter I, I believe. No, not the letter I. Uh, one of the, one of the buttons <laughs> by clicking. Uh, I think it's I. You can actually develop. Uh, let me double check that actually. Nope, it's L. Yeah, you have to click L in order to disable it. There we go. We've got center disabled, so you can actually stop it from showing you where it is. However, if you click on I again, no O again. Oh, there's nothing to do with I. Is not a key we use. Forget I. I didn't say I. Uh, but yeah, we, we use O to get it back, and then you can see where the ores are. So obviously very soon there, you'll be able to see that we do have ourselves some coal. Now, I've actually set it for lapis there, so let's see what else we've got near. Uh, let's go for iron. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sort of just hit a block and then roughly see which direction it's going. It's going this way. So let's see if we can follow the smell. Dun, 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 dun. So we're about one block away, and then all of a sudden we have ourselves... Hey, there we go, we've got some iron. So this is a really, really nice way of finding things, to be honest with you. Uh, it really, really does help for sort of getting those ores, especially. It's kind of making use of the ores that are around you. It doesn't add in any more ores, you don't get any more ores for finding it like that, but it will help you in order to locate them. Let's do one more for here, let's actually do gold. Let's go a bit adventurous. Uh, I haven't got any armor on, so I'm slightly worried about lava. Uh, let me just grab myself some torches here. Uh, where are your torches? Where are oh, there you are. Happy days. All right, so let's stick some of these down. So let's keep going down this way. Let's see if we can find these. I have actually put a couple of little treasure rooms around here. And the reason why is because there are no emeralds uh, or nether quartz here for obvious reasons. It's just the wrong biome and it's the wrong dimension. So I've done a couple of little treasure rooms at the top, which we'll go and find in a second. Uh, but as you can see here, we're getting closer. So we've gone up, what's like 15, 14... Um, Let's keep going. God damn it, torch. Let's keep going. So close. So close. We're eight blocks away now. Uh, so I should, probably shouldn't dig down. Let's kind of dig at a little angle here. Oh, no, it's here. 
So it's pretty damn good at directing you to exactly where you need to be. And as I did mention, I think the, the best thing about this is you're going to be able to get a lot more ores in terms of being able to set up a lot more beacon blocks, which is going to be really useful, especially... Hey, there we go. So as you can see, all the way from the top of the world, we have managed to find ourselves our gold right at the bottom here relatively easily, just going all the way down until we find the resource that we want. All right, so let's go and look for the little treasure rooms just to kind of further demonstrate this. We have, uh, we want to go and look for emeralds. So did I use emeralds? I think I used emeralds. So yeah, let's go and have a little look, see for emeralds, see what we can find here. So oop, there we go. As you can see, what's happening there is it's actually showing us roughly where the emerald path is. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, so obviously, you know, these, these emeralds wouldn't normally be spawning in this kind of biome, but I've put them in here deliberately. So just so we can have a look for them. So let's go and have a little look, see here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I love that sound. Amazing. Oh God, oh God. No, you're okay, we're safe. Uh, so where are we going? This way? No, we're going further down, okay. So let's keep digging. Let's keep following it as best as we can. I mean, it's, it's one of these things that isn't actually like completely obvious, if that makes any sense. It is still quite difficult to go and get your ores and to find them. Hey, there we go. So we found ourselves the treasure room for the emeralds. And then finally, the last one we're gonna do is actually, I think we can do some quartz. So uh, let's... Uh, pick ourselves some nether quartz like that. Let's hit the ground. Are we getting anything yet? No. I think I put it over here somewhere just to kind of demonstrate. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's going, what, like, round about here? So let's see if we can find anything. We're so close. Actually, we're not that close. We're about five blocks away now, so you can kind of count it down in the top corner. And ta-da! There we go. We have found ourselves the Nether Quartz stash. So yeah, just a really, really nifty little mod where you can kind of smell stuff and you can get yourselves all set up with that. Try and get loads more ores and resources, and then that in turn will uh, allow you to use them for a lot more builds and crafts and bits and pieces. So just to recap, we do coal, iron, gold, diamond, emerald, lapis, redstone, glowstone, and Nether Quartz. So everything that's kind of precious can be found using this, and it's pretty damn cool. So that's about it for this video. Just a nice little quick one showing you the center mod, which is very bizarre, I know, but it's pretty damn awesome anyway. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this mod and if you, if you want to go and smell your own ores, I can smell you. Um, then uh, please leave a like on this video. Can we try and get over a thousand? That would be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. We do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.